Little Brother is the name of this episode. Jake, knock that off. Haha, uh, he didn't make the sound. I mean, he thought he was going to make the sound, but he didn't. Good, good. You're doing great. Thanks. Yes, he's encouraging you. Um, okay, so... <laughs> boobies are not wrong. <laughs> uh, this is an episode where Shelby, uh, during a party, accidentally gets its butt cut off and makes a little brother. And uh, name was it originally Buggy McBug Bug, and he calls no. him what was it? Buddy, uh, Butter Mc Butter 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 Butt. No, I thought it was Buggy something. It was Butter McButt. He calls him Kent. Something mm. has nothing to do with any of the nicknames we were trying to emulate. <laughs> But something. Go on. Really, you're gonna look at okay, whatever. Um, so because uh, it's his butt. Yes, I thought he's also a bug, so I thought it had something to do with that. But regardless, uh, he goes and Buddy uh, Butterson. Buddy Butterson. Butty. Butty. U T T Y Butterson. Oh, okay. I wasn't. I thought it was Buggy Buggerson. You and your bugs. Me and my bugs. <sighs> um, so, he doesn't know what to do with him, so he asks Jake for some advice, because, you know, Finn is his brother. And pretty much he says, oh, just give him a sword and tell him to kill things. So, he does exactly that and says, go, find things to kill. So, he goes into the wall, finds those a bunch of those rats and uh, other little bugs, and just goes on this great big quest. And he comes across these other, uh, oh, what, what were those things? The rats were obviously rats, but what were the other things? <laughs> The things. leaf beard and stuff. Things living in the wall. Just things, okay. Just other things. And he goes on these many quests to make, like, the, the perfect sword, and he gets it, and he, they offer him stuff, but he has no idea what they really are, because he's only a few minutes old, so he decides to go get the sword, fight off all these evil rats that make one giant rat. It's this great big epic adventure, and then Shelby starts to miss him, but he comes back, they sing a little song, and then he goes off to adventure more because he feels that's where he belongs. And for the first time ever, the tree in the tree in spring actually what, what it bloom? Or? Yeah, it blooms. Yeah, because the uh, the curse was taken off of it. Um, and yeah, it, the first thing that came in my head, I'm worried if it did for you too. Remember Lemmy Winks? Yes, from South Park. Exactly that's the first thing that thinking. came in my head. Yeah, Lemmy Winks. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> which I is... am the Sparrow Prince. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's this little gerbil that gets shoved up a guy's ass, and it's just like there's another episode going on, but just every once in a while, I'll cut back to him and his adventures in the ass, pretty much. And it's like it's just something that clearly should not be this epic grand adventure, but it is oh, in yeah. this case. Uh, and it's kind of the same idea. It's just this very tiny little <laughs> guy. <laughs> Okay, not in an ass, but in a house. <laughs> and just goes on this great big grand adventure and has sort of the mystical elements and, uh, you know, if you had to make a choice and who is the most true and most worthy and, you know, and fighting off this great big villain at the end and in going on side quests. Ass. Yes. <laughs> um, so it was fun and it was nice. The... Little Kent is very cute, and uh, I like the little song that Shelby and him sing at the end. Um, and, and even the end had sort of like this, like I said, like it was sort of the end of a great big uh, adventure. I, I really felt like this is what, in a strange way, what the Lemon Hope episodes were trying to do. Because when it got to that end with the, the tree blooming, you kind of felt, yeah, that feels completed. That feels like the whole feel of this episode was this quest and in the quest they usually have a story of this is how this led to that, you know, mm. something that we know every day. And uh, it, it just felt very fitting. Um, and yeah, no, I, I thought it was fun. I thought it was, uh, they had some good jokes and it was creative. So uh, I definitely dug it. Dug. Yes. That's the only reason why you like that movie up. <laughs> Did you I wanted Jason to... it? Was it adjacent to your thoughts? I thought the movie was terrible. No, uh, I liked the episode. This episode was fun. Um, I loved how Kent just popped out arms. How'd you do that? I don't know. Yeah, and popped out legs. <laughs> and, and there's Shelby. <laughs> like I was expecting like a fart or a poop or something and nothing happened actually that would have been kind of funny <laughs> <laughs> um I, I thought it was fun overall like it's it, it has some RPG elements there of course gathering you know 
certain artifacts and whatnot, yada, yada, yada. But yes, first thing that popped in my damn head was Lemmy Wings. <laughs> Especially after you saw the rat. Yeah. When I saw that rat, that's the first thing that popped in my damn head was Lemmy Wings. And the fact they all sort of have high-pitched, sped-up voices, too. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of impossible not to think of it. But I think it still works. I didn't see it as, like, a rip-off, per se. Oh, no, no, It still no. felt like its own thing. That was cute. I mean, if anything, it may have been a tiny nod to it. Yeah. Um, I... I, I I thought it was just a fun, cute little episode all in all. I like uh, looking at it. The Rat King was voiced by the guy who did uh, Dr. Venture, mm -hmm. which when I read that, I was like, what? And then I heard it, and I'm like, oh, God, I can actually hear it, and that's really creepy. <laughs> um, I did like the design of the Rat King. Yeah, they um, use a bunch of other little rats. Which I've seen, like, done before. Like, there's numerous cases of that happening, but I really liked how it was done in this where... Like, it was all in shadow, and then, like, like you saw his fist, and you saw, like, just the top of it was the mice. Yeah, and it's the light from the sword that was lighting them up. I thought yeah. that was pretty clever. Yeah, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the song, uh, especially, like, the beginning part. It felt awkward. It felt kind of forced. They always kind of feel a bit awkward and out of nowhere, there, though, don't they? They just sort of come out of nowhere, and that's part of the fun about it. I don't think so. I mean, like, when they started singing together, I thought it felt a lot better. But, like, just Shelby singing alone felt really odd. You know what it really reminded me of? I'm wondering if you got this, too. Um, I don't know if it was intentional, but remember in uh, Snoopy Come Home... When he's singing the when Woodchuck's singing the song and then Snoopy comes in at the end and they start singing the song together even though neither of them can talk. Did you never see Snoopy come home? Is that the one where he leaves to go to see his family uh, on the farm? No, this is one of the girl that's sick. His previous owner. <gasps> no, I never saw that one. Oh, it's so good. Really? It's so freaking good. What is it better than it's Great Race, Charlie Brown? Great uh, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. I think it is, but I I know a lot of people that hold like a, a real connection to that <laughs> to that one, uh, which I think is one of the lesser ones. On I, I love like, that one. I, love the I know people love that one. Yeah, Christmas obviously. Halloween, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay, we're getting sidetracked. Oh. Go see that. I'll, I'll lend it to you. Sometime. Okay. Yeah, really definitely. Really watch it. I, I've always been a fan. Yeah. If you that. haven't either, go check it out. The Sherman Brothers do the songs, uh, oh. and no, it, it, they're <laughs> they're unbelievably good songs. Because there's the one where Snoopy goes home to where he was born. Yeah, no, it's a different one. Okay. Huh. So, um... Uh, no, I, I mean, that's possible. That that could be a reference or not. Yeah, I, I mean, it's uh, probably not, but I think there's other things that have happened where it's like somebody singing, and then somebody returns or comes back in singing the song, mm. and then they sing it together. I mean, I, I'm sure whatever. Wait, no, wait, did Snoopy and that. Woodstock actually have voices? Or no, they, they whistled. Me, 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 me. No, they whistled is what they did. Okay. They, they would, you know, as to be oh, plays. pretty bang, cool. Bang. Yeah. No, it was actually, it was really cool. Um, I, but, oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Uh, I, I have nothing. I love the drunken party in the viola, though. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, like, Shelby just apparently wasted. <laughs> And just falling and lopping off his butt, and he's like, oh, man, I did something stupid, oh, man. Shelby's always a character when I see him, I sort of think, oh, okay, a Shelby episode, whatever. But then I'm I'm always laughing with him. I'm always like, yeah, no, this is fun. Like, this is a good episode with him. Um, Shelby's always great. Yeah, I don't know why every time I see him, maybe because he is a worm, and I just always think, oh, yay, the life of a worm. Ooh. <laughs> but it's, it's like they're usually pretty funny, and, and his, the, the voice and the delivery is really funny. What's so, that? yeah, it's always good. <laughs> who could be, who, what was it? Who could be worse off than him right now? Me. Watching him. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. It was interesting. And yeah, I will never get Lemmy Winks out of my head. <laughs> you will get him out of a few other places, I'm sure, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, any closing thoughts? No. No? Well... Guys, this is going to be the last one for a while. Uh, not that we're going to stop all together, but I mean, we've gotten to the point where, you know, now we're sort of watching them the same time you guys are watching them. We have to wait for them to come out, uh, so we can't just watch them in bulk. Uh, so, like, I don't know exactly how it'll work, because it's, I mean, maybe I can just always drive up here for one episode or whatever it's like i said i could you know because i love coming up here i love seeing you guys um so but bottom line we'll still keep doing the episodes kind of like how rob and i do like the the core of vlogs and mm. stuff 
Um, so they'll keep going. It's not like an official end or anything, but sort of like the everyday thing. Uh, we're not going to keep going. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do another show. I was kind of talking to Mike Machado about that. And he was saying, like, just, just do it if one, like, really comes to your mind like you really want to do. Um, and... I can't think of anything Dora. That... Dora the Explorer, yes, yes! We will make this happen. Let's talk about the symbolism of Dora. <laughs> well, we can learn along the way. <laughs> well, what does he mean, I'm the map? What does it mean to be a map? But remember, swiper. No <laughs> swiping. <laughs> the depth. Sorry. <laughs> I try to learn Espanol. I mean, actually, it would What's be very that? educational. Uh, it's an alien language. I'll tell you uh, later. Um, French? Sure. But, um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm, like, there's one show I was thinking about doing, but, I mean, I won't give it away in case I do it. Um, I will say... No, that, it's not My Little Pony. No, it's not My it's Little Pony. Asking. It's just, <laughs> um, and, uh, I, I will say this, too, because I'm actually wrapping up, uh, Breaking Bad. I'll do one vlog just on Breaking Bad in general. Because oh. everyone's always like, do Breaking Bad vlogs, and I'm like... It's a really good show, and I have stuff to say about it, but I can't do episode by episode. I, it, Not that there's not a lot to talk about, but it's not like, you know, I'm dying to talk about, or I can talk in a bunch of layers. Like, the interest is not there as much, but I can talk about the series, like, in one go, so I'll get that. But, um, I'd break it up into season. Like, one episode per season. Well, it'll only be five episodes. Yeah, well, you know, therefore you don't have to try to cram so much in. No, but I can I can make it as long as I want. I, I, mean, I can just do it in one go. Trying to be nice... Well, stop it. You've been nice enough letting me come here and do the vlogs and enjoy the beautiful family, and then they are beautiful. Jory, Bree, you're beautiful people. What about my cat? Ray. He's okay. Yeah. Kill him, Naruto. Kill. Or yeah. sleep. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. He didn't even open his eyes. I don't know. <laughs> cat. Um, I do want to say, though, even though this isn't, like, the last one or anything, but I really do want to say, I mean, like, I start off doing these, like, because everyone's like, do Adventure Time vlogs, and I start, I had no idea what to talk about, and, uh, I remember I was just talking to you at a party, I'm like, dude, I have no idea what to say about this show, and you were talking about all the things that were coming up, and all the different sort of themes that go on, and I just said, would you be willing to do this with me, because I can't think of anything no, no, to say no, no, right no. now. No, okay, uh, okay, how did this work, how did this work? I need to correct you on this <laughs> Mr. <one>. Memory, okay, <laughs> how did it work? Because it was you and Brad, it was after you recorded the episode with Brad, I guess. Uh-huh. And I just was babbling about Adventure Time, and you looked at me and said, oh, good, you're helping me. Oh, that's right. And I said, okay, and you show up, with camera, and you, we watch an episode, and you plop the camera down, and you just start talking. No scripts, no forewarning, no nothing. You're terrible at this. I'm not terrible at this. You're just too good at it. Mm. Yeah, because you picked it up right away, and you did great at it. But no, that's that's pretty much how this whole thing began, was I was babbling about it, you know this show, and you're just like, oh, you're helping me then. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was fun. It, it, the whole thing has just been a blast. And Jory, as much as she gripes, she had fun. Hooray! <laughs> See, she's been here the whole time. She just chooses not to be on air. <laughs> the, the whole family's here, and they're just like, no, don't put us in, even though we've been on camera like a million times. <laughs> and now we go to conventions and have people praise us, but no, don't put us on camera. We can't. We can't. <laughs> No, praise me. <laughs> Please, praise me. But if I really do mean that, I mean, just really all you got, because every time, I mean, it's like, it looks like we're having fun here just talking about this. It's like, we really are, and that really yeah. is because the environment you guys create is just so relaxed and so cool, and you guys just have a ball doing this, too. So really, thank you guys so much. I mean, you're you're all just, you're a really goddamn cool family. No, <laughs> thanks for coming. I mean, it's, every time you come over, it's always fun just to chill with you. Yeah. And then watching this show, it's nice to be able to share something I love as much as I do with you. And for you not to be like, you're an idiot, just go away. It's well, a goddamn kid sometimes. show. I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> Plus the stupid crap I do, like throwing at stuffed animals at you and everything, you roll with the punches just as much as I try to. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so funny if I didn't just say, like, what is this? No, vlog ruined. Cut, cut. <laughs> no, some people were not happy with that. <laughs> Well, I had a blast. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, I definitely, every time you come over and, you know, we watch, it's just always fun. Because also, I love, even if I disagree, I love your take on each episode. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just the same, 
If it was the exact same thing I always thought, it would be boring as well. Yeah, it's like why there even be two people doing it. Yeah, and it, we're never like exactly the same. Like We always have a little bit something different here or there. And I love hearing what you have to say, because a lot of times it's not what I'm thinking. Yeah, no, I mean, you, yeah, of course, you, you always have different points of view too, and it's went out really well. So, um, yeah, I'm sure you guys are just like, you know, oh god, just kiss already. But, um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna end this here. But before we end that, we're gonna get everybody in on this, okay? So, that's right, we're getting you, Jory, Jory. What do you gotta say? Say goodbye, Jory! Goodbye, I love you. Bree, you gotta say something! Say something, Bree! Say something! Hi. Well done! <laughs> Jason! Now you! What? Who? What? A cat! Cat! Naruto! What do you have to say, Naruto? I love you, Meow! Wow! He talked! <laughs> he friggin' talked! Oh my god! Do it again! Screw yeah. off, bitches! <laughs> I think that was you. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just, just say goodbye, everybody. Oh, no, yeah, get, get, get. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Y'all come back now, you hear? Maybe not. Uh, why? Why? Wave again. We'll make a gif out of it. <laughs> Wait, don't I need to shake my butt? <laughs> and that's what we'll end on. <laughs> <laughs>